One day he decided that he was going to make an advance toward me, so he did. His wife walked in. Well, she yeah. came after yeah. me and right. pulled my hair out. Really? Uh, that was the first time I've ever talked out loud about that. Right. So there you go. You got breaking Wait. news. They gave us booze and celebrities and told us to make a show. Welcome to Shot Topics. Yeah. <laughs> yes! yes! It's time for our Shot Topics with Teen Mom's own Deborah Danielson! Hi! Woo! Um, you look very dressed up for Shot Topics and we appreciate that. Thank you very much. This Thank is your third meeting. time. Third time back here. Third time to charm. You're fresh off a of Teen Mom firing and you decided to come <laughs> by this dog and pony show so that we can chat about it. Because yeah. we are actual big Teen Mom fans. So <laughs> when did you find out? Like, had, did, had you, have had the producers at I, MTV of Teen Mom, did I they actually contact you? I found out in the tabloids. Really? Seriously? Seriously. They're saying that Farrah was let go because of two reasons. One, they feel that she wasn't really treating the crew the producers well. Um, and we saw a lot of that this season, which it almost like it became the storyline because we never really saw that a ton in the past. This time we did. And the other reason they're saying is because she was allegedly considering doing some like sexy time webcam. Oh Which yeah. don't look at me when I say that. <laughs> I just got like nervous and embarrassed. Yeah. I don't know anything about that oh. to be honest. Okay. And I do know that she terminated any relationship or agreement with that. I oh, do okay. know that. Okay. So, you know, there's lots of rumors, lots of innuendos, but I can tell you that I know my daughter has nothing to do with that. Okay. You know, and I can't speak for her, but I do know that she really wanted to grow up and move on and do things that were a little bit more mature in her mind. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean in an adult film, right. and I don't mean that. <laughs> right. But well, I mean like, like okay. scripted scripted shows. Oh. And yeah, okay. and I think that's her focus now is she wants to be in movies and she wants to be in scripted shows mm -hmm. and that's where she wants to spend her time. As far as, you know, treatment of the show, of the crew and the mm -hmm. cast and whatever, I can't speak for her again mm -hmm. because that's her thoughts and her feelings. Right. But I will say, when people have brought this to my attention, well, okay, I guess it's okay if she yells at me because <laughs> everybody likes the drama of that. <laughs> right. like, but it's when they it for the show. <laughs> but when they turn and and she turns and talks to somebody yeah. else that way, it's like, well, the whole world is melted. Right. Okay. Did Farah contact you after the scenes were filmed? to say like something seems like it's up? Well, here's the situation. We were at the cusp of the eve of my wedding. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to come to. I know. Oh my God. Our invite got lost. Well, things happened. I don't have a passport. We were just... all set to go to film and everybody was coming. And I had 28 super fans there at the wedding. And then what happened? <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? Don't tell us. There was this huge blowout. Farrah firing, all this stuff going mm -hmm. on. I mean, I seriously think I lost my mind here. Right. So did bed. they not film the wedding though? They did not film oh the wedding. God. Did it happen? The wedding <laughs> did happen. Okay. I was it was a blur, but it did right. happen. Okay. Well, it was a hell of a good party. Right, right. <laughs> well And that's why it was a blur. There's a new teen mom who is allegedly replacing Farrah. Correct. Um Mackenzie and McKee. I don't know that her story exactly goes with the OG group. Okay. Because this is the OGs. We're mm -hmm. the original girls. We started the franchise. We started all of this. And, you know, these girls came from a really hard place. And, you know, looking at Mackenzie, I understand her mom's dying right now, uh, stage four brain cancer, and that is tragic. And my heart goes to her. But <clears throat> when I look at the demographic for our viewing audience, and I know, because I talk to our fans all the time, it's just a little bit weird that she's a female bodybuilder and on the show, and she's got a husband and she's got other children, and you know, she mm -hmm. looks like a very happy, functioning person. Oh, you and you think it should happy? be like a dumpster fire of a cast? <laughs> I mean, I, no. So she's probably not gonna last then. I, here's what I think. I think that they should combine <laughs> Teen Mom 2 and Teen Mom OG, yeah. cut a couple people out, and yeah. you would have like the ideal. That's cast. kind of what I suspect. Who would okay. you cut out of that of that combo cast? Janelle. Oh. oh. I don't see that in a mean way. No. But if Janelle is married to somebody that got fired, she's in a very precarious place. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then she just came out and said, "I'm not going to let my children film anymore." Okay. Right. Well, then what's the story? The only good possibility of that 
is that Barb will come back. Because she'll be the only person that she can film with. Yeah. And then they always butt heads. <laughs> which and I they'll love. be in court all the time. I know, I know. I mean, that's a really can, stressful can never vibe. Film. What does Dr. David think currently about what is happening with the firing and your lack of relationship with Farrah? First of all, he, he wants, he loves Farrah. So from that perspective, he supports me 100%. Mm -hmm. He also believes that Farrah needs to, you know, be more serious about the counseling and really take the time out and maybe get away from the cameras for a little bit mm -hmm. and just go focus on her and her health. Right. Just so she can be a thousand percent. A lot of families in the United States today are plagued by mental health mm -hmm. issues. Right. And you will see some of that being talked about on the show going forward. Mental health is a really big deal. There shouldn't be any shame around that. You just need to go get treatment. Right. Mm -hmm. And 99% of mental illness is totally treatable. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You can have a very full functioning life. Right. So it's a matter of taking time and going and de dealing with that. If you have a borderline personality disorder, if you have narcissism, if you have any of these kind of things, mm -hmm. they're all highly treatable. All is not lost, but I will say that deep down inside, I know my daughter, she's kind, she's loving, and she is sweet, right. very compassionate. I think she works extremely hard. She just needs to step back a moment and take some time and get healthy mm -hmm. with, and take time for her so she can heal. Right. Do, you, do you think that she, has borderline personality disorder and narcissism isms? Yeah. You do. Does do. she think that? I think so, yeah. Okay. Do you feel that Michael and Amy enable Farrah? Totally. Yeah. While I've been here, I did get a threatening phone call from him. <laughs> he was trying to like blackmail me. For like money? Like, you know, I'm gonna release a book. <clears throat> Does he want to expose? Oh, probably that I was 16 and dating a man who was 50. Okay. All right. And he had a problem with that. Mm -hmm. But the man passed away when I was roughly 23 years old. Wow. So, you know, he was my first love. He was my fiance. He asked me to marry him. You were 16. Well, when he asked me to marry him, I was actually 18. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wow. That's a little mind blowing. Yeah. Where'd you meet him? I worked for him, actually. Oh. Yeah, and one day he decided that he was gonna make an advance toward me, so he did. His wife walked in. I was actually stocking shelves, and I worked in a pet shop. Okay. Anyway, she came around the corner and saw him kissing me, and she didn't know anything. In front of the dog food. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's very romantic. Oh, I know it. Yeah. Very earthy, uh, kibble, very organic. Kibble, ev kibble everywhere. <laughs> Kibbles and bits. Mm -hmm. Well, she yeah. came after yeah. me and pulled my hair out. Really? Yeah, now what the f is that about? Oh. I don't right. know. And that was like pre Springer and like all of that. It was all of that. All of that. Yeah. But see, I could. Like I was a pioneer. I am. Yeah. Uh, that was the first time I've ever talked out loud about that. Right. So there you go. You got breaking Wait. news right here, people. Right. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. You're welcome. For your third time. Third yeah. time's a charm. I love you guys. You I love guys you. Are awesome. I you love have you. great energy. Well, we try in, and liquor really helps with that. Liquor we, is always the best. Always. It just makes you feel better. So we're going to continue to watch the rest of your journey on Teen Mom, and Thank hopefully you. we'll see you on the reunion, which I think if we read between the lines, we will. Yeah. Um, and we're going to check you out mm -hmm. on Shine, um, the new show, and we're also going to check out your book, Vapor, which you can buy at Amazon.com. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and we're just looking forward to see what else you have going on. Thank you and, so and much. And don't forget about us. <laughs> Great. Thanks so much. Guys, we'll see you next time Thank at Shot you. Topics. Thank you.